Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Capricorn. Thank you Lord God for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Capricorn, we have um, we have recovery, okay. we have courage, and then we have the energy is gaining momentum, the waxing moon. Okay, so this is that moon when it's coming up to a full moon, I believe. Um, something you've been thinking about doing you've been thinking about it toiling over it going over this and going over that you haven't really done it it says that your dreams can come true but it's about you putting that last effort that energy into it it's like you're right there on the precipice of actually seeing this happen for yourself but you have to believe in it and put the work behind it also the image i got for you off camera when i was shuffling the cards was like someone watering um a flower they had their um, what is that? The is that called a flower pot? No, they have the little the watering flower plant watering thing. Little, it has like a spout on it, and it has like you know the little holes at the top where the water comes out. Anyway, um, someone was watering plants or a plant. So it's like you, you're nurturing something and you just keep nurturing it and you just keep trying to nurture it and cultivate it. But it might be that you need to either release it or you need to put energy behind it um, to help release it, to push it out. Some of you, this is like, um, you're like the mama bear and you just keep trying to nurture um, maybe some adult children here. You doing that is setting this person up or your adult children up for failure. You have to let go and release the reins here. You need to listen to your intuition also. You need to have the courage to know that you're, you're, whatever it is you're nurturing over and over again, it can actually turn into something great and blossom on its own. You just have to have the courage to release the reins. Open your hands and let it go. Um, know that you, you've taught You've know, nurtured, you've cultivated the best thing that you could, um, you know, nurture in this person, place, or thing. Um, you have some plans, some goals you want to achieve, but it stops right there. Of you thinking about the plans, the goals, and the achievements, and then you're not putting any energy effort into it to see it realized. Bring it down into 3D for it to actually be. Uh, it says the energy is gaining momentum here. It's either make it or break it time. It's either uh, continue, you know, at what you're doing uh, or do something different and actually see something blossom, grow, flourish. Okay. Um, you need to just have the courage to um, be strong enough to face the unknown. And I think that's what some of you are a little afraid of okay and you're afraid of um, you know fear and disappointment and you need to kind of overcome that and how to overcome that is just to really let things flow naturally and whatever happens happens you need to change something about you because something you trying to predict the future or trying to have your hands and all these different things it's just bringing anxiety for you whatever you're trying to whatever your desired outcome is here especially for those of you who are really trying to see a dream realized or something come to fruition you need to take positive steps toward that thing every single day you need to do something every day towards that The Courage card talks about facing your fears, whatever they may be. Stepping into a leadership position, um, breaking out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, breaking out of your comfort zone. And sometimes out of your comfort zone is being out of that leadership position, out of running it, it, it all. You have to take a back seat. Understand that a joyful future can really await you. This is the time um, for you to recover from something that happened to you or something that happened around you. Um, a new exciting phase will open up in your life if you just allow the energy to kind of flow naturally. Um, do know that this is all about release release and change going to the next level new phase in your life and the only way you can do that is to kind of like um uh, you have to really believe that your dream can come true you got to know that you're headed in the right direction you just have to keep moving forward and i think some of you Kind of get stuck and stagnant right where you are. Some of you are waiting for rescue too. You're waiting for somebody to rescue you. Just know that your dream is right there for you. It's more effort is required right now. Reveal your goals and your dreams and make sure that you're still committed to them because they, you could not be committed. You could be shifting your focus elsewhere. Your emotions are building and building and you're going to really have to confront them head on in terms of your emotions can't be someone else's emotions either. And sometimes you just, you have to rest on the side of right even if it may look disappointing to another person because you're choosing what is right and you're not just choosing a person or a side or a thing. You're choosing what is right. Um, you want to go down the straight and narrow path here. So this is your reading Capricorn. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you Capricorn. Many blessings to you.